Why we control the dog? It can detect the fire and the smoke and mm. it automatically go there and extinguish. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dong Song. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to host you in this call. Could you please tell us about yourself? My family name is Li, and given name is Dong Song. Over 100 million people in China have the same family name. So we are from a biggest family in China. Now married with two kids, and they're currently working for Hollywood. I had a chance to uh, work in the uh, and GE in the previous career. Perfect. So you are working in a difficult industry. What are the difficult and what are the fun facts of your job? Yeah, I think the fun part first. You need fun to keep working. Celebrate, you know, any achievement. Now the difficulty is always any current uh, business we grow or we survive. In our last touch point, I think five years ago, I had chance mm -hmm. to know more about you, Dong Song. And at that time, you give us some brief about your childhood, how you work hard to be successful. So really, as your friends, I always keep this mm -hmm. moment and I really respect you and your character. And you were passionate about success. You were not shy to learn, read mm -hmm. and improve yourself. What was the aha moment or a milestone in your work life that really contributed to your character or to your job, please? Yeah, again, I mean, thank you for remembering those moments and I do share the same feeling you know I remember I shared my past experience was I learned from the others you know colleague classmate more than what I learned from the book so Schlumber JGE and, uh, and now Hummer so you know I have to say now these are obviously our right decision at the right time do you have a ritual a routine started three years ago try to keep uh, three to four times a week find time to run keep me very happy actually running keeps that. you happy so that's actually keep me you know make me fresh for a day if you drink coffee, yeah. check the coffee brand. If it is from Colombia, remember our dear friends, Juliana. <laughs> I actually don't check the brand of coffee or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next time yeah. you will check it. So, uh, so, now we are moving to the second part of the interview, which is about innovations and startups. This year, my plan was to visit China, but one day I will be there to observe. It is different than Europe. It is different than US, different dynamics. What type of disruptive innovations are emerging or exist in China or in your business? Especially this year, I think there's one thing actually suddenly become very successful and popular in China is the live stream uh, selling live shows. A few people become extremely famous and popular and become very rich in uh, just a couple of months. In my industry or I think similar like uh, GE, which is industrials, to be honest with you, I haven't seen very disruptive business model or innovation yet. But compare with speed in the consumer's world, the speed is way slower. So the consumer industry is going super fast in terms of the innovations, new yeah. solutions, better user experience, making things mm -hmm. easier, faster, cheaper. But the, some industries are still dealing with the core problems yeah. and they are not as fast as the consumer industry. One of the reasons that I wanted to start this interview series is to show the good side of the diversity and richness in the people. So from your perspective as Dong Song living in China, in Beijing, what you like most about Chinese culture and what would you change? One of the most, if I have to name one, is uh, food, Chinese food. Sorry for interrupting. I now learn how to convince you to meet with you. So just order. <laughs> Let's meet in this restaurant, great food, then you are there. I'm curious about the cultural habits. For example, if you see someone is talking very loud in the public, mm. what generally you or Chinese people do? Uh, is it okay to go and tell this person to speak oh, low? We, or we normally don't intervene. In some cultures, people are direct and tells you, hey, slow down. I'm very interested in learning some gestures from different countries. Well, I actually don't immediately can think about any that kind of gesture. Past time where we don't have, we don't do the handshaking, we do this, right? What are you doing to develop yourself, to keep yourself updated with recent changes in the markets? I think the actually most more efficient way maybe is talk with young people. Talking with young, young people, people, great idea. Yeah, and, and even kids, right? School kids, they know what's new and they adapt so fast. That's a great advice. I want to share one of my stories with you. Yeah. We had to do some projects and with the kids, yeah. I think they were maximum 18. Eight. 
eight yeah. years old. And I was there mentor a group of two or three kids and I advised yeah. them to build a robotic dog which can mm. fly and extinguish the fire and I plan it with the remote control. But you know, one kid told me why we control the dog. It can detect the fire and the smoke and mm. it automatically go there and extinguish. <laughs> yeah. You see? So yeah. I am used to control the things, but these guys has no blocker. Related with the books, do you have a favorite business book or novel? No, I, I actually like one uh, popular science book. It's called uh, The Fabric of Cosmos. Do you have famous proverb? Yeah, you, there, are, there are many proverbs in China. In my mind, it's called uh, 三人行必有我师. That's in Chinese. So if you work with two other people, so three of you work together, you, you must be able to always find uh, something you can learn from the other two. That definitely connects your comment that you had earlier. When I asked you how you develop yourself when you were young, you mentioned that you really observe and you listen to your colleagues. That's how you get yourself improved. It was a great <laughs> pleasure for me to host you and to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to say goodbye. Could you please teach me how I can say goodbye in Chinese? Yeah. Many thanks, Dong Song, and Sai Chie. Thank you. Best wishes.